today I am exploring St. Elmo's, Colorado. St. Elmo's is Colorado's best preserved ghost town. Um, it's an abandoned mining town that, um, well, they struck gold and silver in the 1880s and produced until the early, well, it was the 1920s when it kind of dried up and the town dried up. And um, anyway, it is Colorado's best preserved ghost town. It is on the um, National Register of Historic Places. And it is quite a tourist attraction. Um, it's just a scop, hop, skip, and a jump away from where I'm staying in uh, Johnson Village, just outside of Buena Vista here in Colorado. So I had to come up here and check it out, and we're about to explore it a little bit and check out some of these old buildings and try to get some awesome pictures. All of these houses on this row that I've seen so far are 1882, 1881, 1880. Um, like this one here, this cool looking log cabin is the Whitney Phobes main house, circa 1882. This is very cool. Like, look at the view. Can you imagine, like I must say, St. Elmo's is situated quite bucolically alongside this creek that I will get you some footage of here in just a little bit. And right in these mountains at about 9,900 feet and some change, we're somewhere around 10,000. And even at 10,000 feet, you gotta have somewhere to do your business. That is a really nonsensical statement, but I like to keep it real. So it's staying in there. If you look closely and you know what you're looking for, you can see the, um, well, let's say the divide in town here between the good side of the tracks and the uh, other side of the tracks. There we have your customary one holer outhouses. But right here in this gap somewhere are the tracks because here we have a two holer. And if that's not fancy pants in 1880, I don't even know what is. See what I mean? Bucolic. There's more to it than just that main street over there as well. Come around across the creek, it's a whole nother little area. Some really cool buildings. This one says Ro Rhodes Building Number One. Circa 1881. You can actually see inside this dude a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah. Nice well, killer wallpaper, man. Oh, <laughs> how cool. They have here in St. Elmo's a chipmunk situation. Look at how many of them there are. They're everywhere. And they're quite friendly. Ah, so that's where chipmunk cheeks came from. They also have this incredibly beautiful blue bird situation going on in here. Remains of the mining operation. If you like history, this is so cool. This is probably one of the cooler looking buildings in town. That one is impressive. I just got a really neat look to it being two stories and with the miners exchange. See, Elmo's General Store. How cool is this? 
Oh, and look at this building over here. <clears throat> Behind me, hold on one second. very much like a restored original building though I can only speculate at that because I don't see a sign stating otherwise but if it's not it's very true to form and all in this setting man all of this in this setting Well, guys, that is St. Elmo's, Colorado, the best preserved ghost town in Colorado um, on the National Historic Register. Um, really cool place. Um, keep in mind, it's definitely somewhere you should come check out. And keep in mind, if you do, that people do still live here. These are Some of these are residents' homes. Be respectful of them. Just be respectful of them. And uh, act like you're a guest in someone else's house, as you always should when you're anywhere. I'm looking at you and whoever you are, you know who you are. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a really cool place. Um, really, really neat. A lot of history here, a lot of chipmunks to hang out with, a few really beautiful blue birds and who knows, you might even run into like a rock badger or something. They probably don't even live in Colorado, but I'm going to leave it in. Anyway, we will catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment and we'll catch you next time. Though the hill might be steep, and the trail be rocky, the mountaintop awaits. Carry on.